Hello guys, welcome to the mathematics revision where we'll be looking at uh, factorization. All right, so we'll be looking at factorization. All right, so you can have a question like this. So let's look at some examples. So I can have a question which can say solve, uh, which can say solve, and it can say a. It can say like a they are saying x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. Then b they can say x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Okay. So let's see how we can solve them. the first and solutions. So we can start with this one here, a x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. So we solve this by factorization, all right? So what we do, we fact out what is common here, which is x and here x. So we fact out like x, open brackets here, we remain with x. And we say minus here, we fact out x, we remain with 5. Okay, then we'll say equals zero. So you have the fact that we have a product of x and x minus five is equal to zero. Then it means either of these two is zero. So we equate them to zero. So we say either x is equal to zero or uh, x minus five is equal to zero. Okay, this is zero. Then now this one becomes like this. Uh, 5 crosses, so it becomes x is equal to 0, see, 5, 5, then x is equal to 0 plus 5, 5. So these are the two answers. So when we check the other one, which is in uh, B, which is like x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So this one, in solving it, you need to look for what we call the product and the, the sum. So the product is the multiplication of the coefficient of this x. So in this case, the coefficient of x here is 1. So you multiply it with this constant here. So when you multiply the coefficient x like 1 times this 2 here, you get 2. So this is the product. Then the sum is gotten by the coefficient of this x, which is a 3. So here the sum is negative 3. Then after you do that, you ask yourself for the numbers. You look for two numbers, which when you multiply them, they'll give you 2. When you add them, they'll give you negative 3. So these numbers are negative 1 and the negative 2. Because if you say negative 1 times negative 2, it will give you positive 2. Also, if you say like in negative 1 plus uh, negative 2, find that this will be equal to um, negative 1 minus 2, which will mean negative 1 minus negative 2, it will be negative 3. So these have worked out, they can give you positive 2 here or negative 3. So after you do that, you substitute. So you get like x squared. So this, you replace this by this one and this one here. So what you do now, you say like this negative x, you give it x. It becomes just negative x. Negative 1 becomes negative x like negative x. Then this negative 2 becomes negative 2x. Then this one will continue plus 2 equals to 0. Then from there, you factor out. So this one, you group them, you factor them out. So here, the common factor is x. So you factor out x, you remain with the, here x, minus here you remain with the 1. Then you close the knee. Here you say minus, then here you fact out what is common in 2, so 2 is common, so you put 2 open brackets, then here you remain with x, then here you have 
minus you put minus because because okay. here there was minus even here you put minus then here you factor out two so you remain with one we close and equals to zero then this when you multiply this times that should give you that this times that should give you that then after you do that you check this term here and also this term here you check what you what is common so you discover that on this side this is common and this is common so you factor it out so you factor out like x then minus one so this is common then you remain on this side with x so you open brackets x then on this side you remain with minus two so you say minus two equals zero okay once you do that Again, since you are having zero as the product of when you multiply this and this, you are getting zero. So it is either this is zero or this. So you say either x minus one is equal to zero or x minus two is equal to zero. Then you say you cross, you make x the subject of the formula. So this crosses, so it becomes like x is equal to zero plus one or x is equal to so this again crosses so you have like uh, zero plus two so here you have x is equal to so like zero plus one it will be one so you say oh x is equal to zero plus two it will, it will be two so these will be the answers so yeah that is what is involved in just the factorization guys okay so i hope you have this revision has helped has helped you as for now. Bye and see you in the next lesson.